The deepening debate over asylum seekers has dominated our airwaves in recent times. As the number of refugees reaching Australian shores increases, what role do regional communities play? Holly Smith has the details. We've all seen the slogans and the footage splashed across the media over the last few years, but how much do we really know about asylum seekers? I think they should be better regulated how they come in and I agree that they should be stopped and turned around. That's overblown. They shouldn't be labelled as a problem. They're just asylum seekers looking for safety. There are reasons why um, people are refugees but I think that there needs to be um, certain practices put in to regulate um, people coming into people going into any country. I don't think people should be treated that way. So I believe that the boat people are being treated unfairly and I reckon that they should be let in. A group located in Bathurst, the Rural Australians for Asylum Seekers, or RAFAs for short, provides the personal insight that is often lost in the politics. RAFAs aims to educate rural Australians on asylum seekers, where they come from, who they are and why young people should get involved in supporting them. The, the benefit of having youth involvement is that there's a lot of energy and a lot of um, imagination and creativity in the youth, of, particularly of Bathurst. RAFAs have strong local support in listing Stanny's boarding school to host an asylum seeker forum in August, which will feature internationally renowned experts. It's a big problem and there's no simple solution, but I think many of our people are fairly ignorant almost. <laughs> they don't know too much about the real problem. This free Q&A session is open to all, so why not take this opportunity to get an inside look into what stopping the boats could really mean for Australia and asylum seekers. Holly Smith with that report.